I'm still not 100% convinced up, the box G? even exists. What the? You! Huh? this i've suspected you've been monitoring my communications since mexico <sighs> rourke commander rourke you've been listening to me and now i'm listening to you another foreshock how's it feel knowing you're responsible for all these cataclysms all that suffering i know what i did the look on your face when dominguez told you but you just had to have that dagger didn't you what the hell? What the hell am I supposed to do? Hunaratu's dead, shot in the back by Rourke. I don't have the box. Jonah. God, if anything happens to him. God damn it. <sighs> Forward outpost. Croft is moving into your area. Find her. Cross was right through the guys at the beach. It can't happen again. We'd better do a sweep. Anything interesting in that new shipment? Thermal goggles, gentlemen. I'll take point. I got something! Where? Shit! False positive. Some animal. Hey, are we getting those lights up or what? I'm never gonna get them working if you keep pestering me. It's a damn hurry all of a sudden. Rourke said Cross coming through here. God damn it. All right, I'm hurrying. You figure Rourke's a the concealment is back up stay close we need more eyes on this covering weak side Go 
Get off this channel. What? They're listening. Okay. I'll find you. It's a recipe for a hallucinogen, sometimes used in war. This should help. If I use this on my arrows, it could be an advantage against Trinity. Jonah? Jonah, come in, please. He's not gonna answer, Lara. What? He's dead. Now you can add your friend Jonah to the list of people you've gotten killed. Fuck you, Rock. If you want to pick up his body, it's at the refinery. I'm coming for you.
Rourke. I've been called back to camp. Winters, Croft is all yours. Making everything worse. <laughs> you're not. Hey, you're not. We can do this. <sighs> Come on. Where to next? Can't stay here. I don't know, Jonah! <laughs> What was that clue? Uh, the heart of the serpent, something. The heart of the serpent is in the cup, near the many stone faces. And what kind of cup are we talking about? Some kind of chalice? A chalice that's not very Mayan. Wait. It's not mine. The clue was left by a 17th century missionary, Andrea Lopez, a Jesuit. The serpent in the chalice is a symbol of St. John. We're looking for a Christian holy site. Like a church of San Juan? That's a pretty common name. Could be dozens. Not within trekking distance from Paititi. Come on, the road is this way. We'll get out of here, talk to some people. Okay. What would I do without you? Church of San Juan.
Let's split up. I'll look for signs of Lopez. We'll ask around, see what we can find out. My friend Sara's an archaeologist. She works near here. You want to go see if she knows anything about your riddle? That would be great. The stone faces have always been Sara's obsession. Most people come here looking for treasure, but not Sara. She just wants answers. Have you been friends a long time? Mm. Since we were kids. She was the nerd, I was always skipping school and stealing my grandma's RV. Once in a while, I could convince Sara to come with me. Usually if some kind of ruins were involved. Those were the best times. I have a feeling she and I will get along. Abby, puedes ayudarme con esto? Está dañado. Espere. ¿Usted es la tal Lara? Croft? I am. La reconozco por la foto. ¿Qué es lo que busca en este lugar? I'm following a riddle. The heart of the serpent is in the cup near the many stone faces. ¿Los rostros de piedra? Estoy aquí por lo mismo. I don't want to step on your toes. It's the serpent in the cup I'm really looking for. Bueno, puedo decirle que han estado aquí por lo menos 400 años. Según documentos de la biblioteca, son guardianes. La leyenda dice que custodian una cripta secreta. A crypt? Nunca nadie la ha encontrado. Como se imaginará, eso es lo que vuelve locos a los cazadores de tesoros. Pero si la infame Lara Croft es tan lista como dicen, bueno, si logra encontrarla, me haría un favor. You think I should start at the library? Sí, está por el cementerio. Es uno de los edificios más antiguos de aquí. No olvide darme crédito si encuentra algo. Thank you. I will. Abby's friend mentioned a crypt somewhere around the library. I'll meet you there. I'm happy Jonah's alive. He makes friends so easily. I probably would have walked here to the mission, but Jonah, he just asked Abby for a ride and she said yes. I hope we're in the right place and we can find the box before Trinity. The earthquake hit last night at the oil facility, and now there's a volcano. Is this where the next cataclysm will hit? We have to end this before this town ends up like Cozumel. Vino a la misión en busca de salvación o de sus secretos. I'm, I'm not sure. A little of both, maybe. Esperar a que la vida se desarrolle delante de ti es un lujo de los jóvenes. Antes era así. Me dejaba llevar. Is that how you came here? ¿Eh? Uh, de cierto modo. ¿Me permite darle un consejo? Tome una decisión. No se limite a aceptar lo que le toque. No me entrometo más. ¿Le gustaría comerse algo? Buen trato. Seguro estará satisfecho. Es un buen trato para... Seguro estará satisfecho. Es un buen trato para... Buen trato. Seguro estará... Un placer hacer negocios con usted, señorita. No tenemos dónde más guardar.
clue to where Lopez took the silver box. The heart of the serpent is in the cup, near the many stone faces. According to legend, the key and shack shell and the silver box of Eshel were created in the heavens for one purpose, to destroy and restore the sun. The ritual can only be performed during an eclipse. Once the ritual is completed, the chosen avatar will hold the power of the sun within them. Having become the god of creation, Kukul Khan, they must sacrifice and release that power to restore the sun. But the silver box tempts people with visions of an idealized world they could create with that power. A fantasy of their own mind, an entirely new reality, only at the cost of destroying this one. Commander Rourke is a highly trained, multi-decorated veteran of the U.S. Special Forces. His extensive experience with highly classified and sensitive operations, executed with deadly efficiency, brought him to the attention of the High Council. They recruited him based on his record alone. He is the leader of Trinity's military forces and personally leads the Deacon teams, which have access to custom APCs called Paladins and Special Ops helicopters called Cardinals. He is Trinity's second in command, answering only to the High Council. While Dominguez is the heart of Trinity, Rourke is the fist. Rourke and Dominguez don't always see eye to eye, but each has a grudging respect for the other. This leather-bound volume of prayers seems to be from the late 16th century. It's in remarkable condition. Someone decided this depiction of Christ's death needed a little sprucing up. It's amazing how the beliefs of disparate cultures can become intertwined over time. The ink is badly faded. It's difficult to make anything out. Savage. Outrageous. Betrayal. And this isn't parchment paper. It's thicker. Animal hide or... human, maybe. 21st of December, 1603. Lopez had grown pensive since exiting the cenote. I led the way, and when I turned toward the city, at last he spoke, calling for us to stop. Then, after swearing me to silence, he shared with me a secret he had been carrying. That night, by the river, I met with the Emperor. I confessed to him who I was, who we are, and the true purpose of our visit. Trinity's fattened leaders, too busy with politics for even the morning's prayers, are not worthy of the box. The Emperor and I agreed that the only way to keep it safe from them was for me to claim it, take it far from here and hide it until one of the Paititi royal line, a chosen one, can follow his antecedents' clues and rediscover it. Having thus unburdened himself, Lopez turned on his heels and set a course deeper into the jungle. 30th of December, 1603. Lopez has just returned from a nearby village, and with him came a group he says will follow him and help us with construction. There was something strange about his behavior. I attributed it to the long journey through the jungle. That night, however, he admitted what had been bothering him. They followed me, he whispered. The others. He walked off. I spent that sleepless night worrying about his deviations toward madness. 18th of December, 1604. I've neglected this journal for far too long. We've worked hard to build the mission. Every day more people arrive. Native villagers seeking conversion. Soldiers tired of war. Others whose faith has been tested by the long, dangerous journey through the jungle. All lured by Lopez's gospel of purity through labor. We work from sunrise to sunset, and then Lopez, or Angel de la Cruz as he now calls himself, spends his evening preaching the mission's purpose, to test the Chosen One. He's calmed, considerably, and if he believes something pursues him still, he keeps it to himself. Tomorrow we begin to build the library, where the box will safely rest until it is ready to be found by the Chosen One. This must be Mama Zara. I always thought her forms of worship were a fun tradition. She was the Incan goddess of grain, and her name means maize mother. So if ever a farmer found a strange maize plant, they would dress it up like a doll in honor of her. She was also the goddess of willow trees, so sometimes the farming communities would hang one of their maize dolls from a willow tree and dance around it for her. When the crimson fire smokes, seek your mirror. Hmm bit enigmatic that. I wonder what it's supposed to mean. 
The Paititians who wrote this believe that something called the Yashiol live beneath Paititi. According to this record, these beings are strongest during astrological events, which is consistent with the legends, but they also attack and feed on humans, but that's not the behaviour that usually appears in the stories. From this description, what they call the Yashiel is the same type of creature I encountered in Kowakyaku. Now this is a fascinating concept. The Miracle Club. Come meet people that share your beliefs, devotion and taste for adventure. Create lifelong memories as you travel the world together. It's a Christian singles group dedicated to visiting pilgrimage sites. This document describes the founding of the mission. There were four solar eclipses in this region around that time, in 1521, 1538, 1539, and 1543. Spanish missionaries reported that during each one, a vision of John the Apostle appeared on this site. So in his honor, the mission of St. John was built here in 1544. This is an official document issued recently by the Holy See. In consideration of this mission having been badly damaged by an unusually violent and entirely unexpected volcanic tremor, they sent requests to every Spanish-speaking diocese, asking them to consider sending missionaries to restore and rebuild this holy site. This document outlines the goals and works of the mission of St. John, in addition to their individual spiritual goals and their outreach programs, the people here are clearly passionate about contributing to the nearby communities. Education, literacy, healthcare, even donating a portion of the food they raise. This Spanish document is fascinating. It tells the story of several natural disasters which struck this area. A flood, a fire caused by lightning, and a severe volcanic tremor. In each instance, buildings on this site were badly damaged requiring considerable rebuilding. Dominguez forbade us from mingling with the locals, didn't want us corrupting them. Luckily, one of the priests developed a taste for bourbon, and as long as I brought a pint with me, he'd lend me his costume, mask and all. Walking through the lower city was like travelling 500 years into the past. This hard hat is decorated with peacock feathers and what seems to be the likeness of a jaguar. Trinity can rot in this jungle. And as for the Paititian Emperor, not even he can truly understand just what this box is. But I do, and I know it should not be used by just anyone. That would be catastrophic. Only the purest among us should make the decision as to how to wield the power of the silver box. That is why I must hide it. This is a record of a mercenary's assignments while working for Trinity. Mexico. Kenya. Siberia. I had my crosshairs on the younger one too, but Rourke had orders for us to leave her alone. This is the bastard who shot Anna.